Welcome back. We are here with the Chief Delivery Officer, Latham Nelson from Stage Marketing, formerly Osmond Marketing. And Latham, I'm excited to keep with the theme of today's show, which is reinvention and reinventing a business, really taking it to its next trajectory, going from the founder's vision to what's next in a business as as is as important as any reinvention that we've discussed so far today. So thanks so much for being with us. It's my pleasure, Lauren. Thanks for having me. Uh, it's looking forward to, to speaking with you today. It's, ex it's an exciting topic because number one, not a lot of startups make it to a stage where they are ready to step to the next level. See what I, I did see there. what you did there. <laughs> hey, it's no secret. And going from the founder's vision to the next level of business, I think is something that a lot of people would love to know. Number one, how do you get there? And then how do you move forward? So let's just start right there. How, tell me a little bit about Osmond Marketing and what you guys did, and then we'll take the leap up to stage. Sure. Um, so Osmond Marketing has been around for many years. Um, our focus is on healthcare, technology, real estate clients. Um, and we do, we definitely didn't have any fork in the road where we needed to change the name. Uh, it was really just how do we evolve our business and, and really serve our clients and also uh, to, to kind of have a blank slate. And what I mean by that, Lauren, is definitely the name Osman is uh, world known, uh, particularly here in Utah where I'm based. Um, and so starting with the name stage really does give us a clean slate. But in addition, I think the fun part is like we were joking, um, a stage can be uh, something you aspire to, something that anybody feels in a daily basis. You're on the stage, you're performing for your clients, for your customers, your, your boardroom. But then at the same time, it kind of is a visual representation of this trajectory that we want our clients to grow and to take the stages necessary to, uh, to go from point A to point Z and, uh, and then eventually sell, go public and make millions for everybody. Well, that's a great vision and I will hold it out there for you and for all of your clients. <laughs> so how does it feel now? Like what's the response you've gotten from clients? What's the response you've gotten internally from employees? And, and how does it feel different going from an original founders organization to a next level, next stage operation? That's a good question, Lauren. So I will say this, we have around 30 full-time employees uh, with many contractors we work with as well. Uh, so much growth has happened in the last couple of years. We've really expanded. And I think switching from the name Osmond to stage now gives these new employees and, 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 and more recent team members real ownership, whereas they weren't a part of the, the, the ground uh, or, or the grassroots of the Osmond marketing company now they are part of the foundation of stage and so i think it gives them some pride and ownership uh that, that i think is uh, uh i think our clients experience that i think they could they see that in our service um, as far as spreading the news and sharing it with our clients i didn't experience one hiccup it was like oh that's easy to spell wow others were surprised that the name was still available actually yeah that was my first reaction was really that's super it's because simple. I it's it's super easy to spell. You never have to correct anybody. Yeah, it, it's a no brain win as far as uh, simplicity goes. So what's your vision for the company now? You're the chief delivery officer. We've already gotten past the fact that you're not wearing a brown uniform. You're not delivering pizzas and uh, sriracha peas might be your favorite delivery of all. Which, sriracha. Which is a very personal share. Thank you for that. <laughs> So well, what's your I mean, the goal? The goal will always remain the same, which is we want to deliver quality, affordability, flexibility, and transparency to our clients. We want our work to to stand out from the rest of the crowd. We really pay attention to the details. We like to say we're the most affordable because uh, it usually means clients will stick around very long term instead of just going project to project. Um, flexibility. Uh, you know, we really have a lot of disciplines that we're able to share with our clients. And it's everything from running podcasts to organizing massive events, 
um, designing uh, websites, collateral materials, generating leads. Um, and then just finally, just transparency, just that ability to uh, be completely honest and, and have an open door policy with our customers. So really full service marketing in, yeah. in every in every sense of the word, right? You're doing social media for people, you're designing websites, you're doing the the lead generation and you're you're doing the analytics. I mean, I know you guys have really expanded your service offerings over time. Is there any any industry that you're not involved in? Uh, certainly there are. Um, our, I will say our specialty is really that healthcare um, technology and real estate. Uh, mm -hmm. we, we definitely have uh, clients that fall outside of those realms, but that's our that seems to be what people like about us the most is our ability, uh, whether it's skilled nursing facilities or a pathology group or a pediatrician group, uh, if it's technology, um, Salesforce uh, partnerships or real estate. We work with a couple of uh, clients who own um, uh, several dozens of uh, apartment complexes. We manage all their websites and messaging and, and social calendars. And, um, and I think we have our, our, our hands in a lot of different uh, areas and are always open to, to exploring new opportunities. But those three are definitely our, our core competencies. Got it. So for our viewers on the other side, if they're thinking about either expanding their marketing reach or, you know, looking into outsourcing some of the activities that they're currently doing, or maybe they don't have official marketing yet and, uh, you know, would like to add that to their mix, where would they find you? All the easiest, just our website, stagemarketing.com. Which is easy to spell and easy to super remember. easy to spell, super easy to find. You know, Lauren, I did a little bit of research. I wanted to see what other companies out there had some popular or some historical name changes, and I have a couple. If you have a if you have a moment, uh, uh, yeah, we have time. Okay, Nike was originally called Blue Ribbon Sport, which sounds more like uh, Midwest beer to me. <laughs> uh, Instagram was originally Bourbon. Oh. Yeah, because that was the founder's favorite form of whiskey. Okay. Uh, Subway that we all have enjoyed uh, used to be called Pete's Super Submarines. He then changed it to Pete's Submarines, but there was so much confusion because people thought it was called Pizza Marines. <laughs> anyway, so I thought the transition from Osmond marking to stage marking is much, much easier than those. I agree. And those are those are just fun to know i had no idea but what a great thing to look up since it's really relevant to who you are now yeah so i'm going to suggest that our viewers really check out stagemarketing.com and maybe they haven't thought about a service that they actually need but they could find it with you there and i wish you all the best and just exponential growth and i'll look forward to doing more business with you in the future Lauren, you are the best, and I love working with you. Can't wait to catch up. It's a pleasure. Thank you, Latham. Thanks for joining us. Bye, everybody. And we'll be right back.